morning, everybody, and welcome to day 60 of a year in my life. Uh, it's actually a gorgeous morning here in LA, and I'm off to the gym. It's about 7 a.m. I'm gonna knock out a workout, possibly go look at some property in Beverly Hills if I have time, and then go meet Tom to pick up a very special watch that is near and dear to my heart in both a good and a bad way right now. So let me work out though and I'll tell you and I'll show you what it is. Never mind that, that's the most ridiculous gym experience I've ever attempted in my life. Not only is it extremely hard to find this LA Fitness or like find the entrance to it, you have to go in a parking garage, go up an elevator, up a set of stairs, through this hallway. Ridiculous for one, no signs anywhere. Um, two, you have to show proof of your vaccination. Okay, I get it. You have to wear a mask the whole time. Okay, still ridiculous. But then you get up to the actual floor and it's sectioned off. You can only have so many people in a section at a time. Um, there was only so many people allowed in like the cardio area, so many people allowed in the weights, in the yoga room. I was just like, come on, like, honestly, LA Fitness, get your shit together. It's not that serious. And, that's, and I, that's stupid. What's the point of having a vaccination if you're gonna wear a mask? What's the point of wearing a mask if everyone has to be vaccinated. I mean, come on, use your brain. And then even on top of that, if, you, if you're vaccinated and you're wearing a mask, why are you splitting us up into three people per room? On top of that, the juice bar was closed and the vending machines only take quarters. I mean, like quarters of all of this day and age, your machine doesn't even take dollar bills or credit cards. I will absolutely not ever step foot in. That just ruined it. I hate LA Fitness in the way. Anyway, I was gonna give it a try. Never again. I'll never step foot in LA Fitness. So I'm just gonna get coffee, eat, and go go to work. I just want to place an order. Absolutely, sir. And you're calling from 732, correct? Yes. Perfect. And how many people are we preparing this order for? Just one. Wonderful. And what can we get started for you? I'm going to do the uh, steel cut oatmeal. Perfect. Would you like that with uh, bananas or berries? Bananas, no sugar. And I want to add a side of peanut butter. And then just a side of peanut butter? Okay. Yes. Um, and then I also want to do two eggs scrambled. Just uh, eggs by themselves? Yes, ma'am. Dan, just some water. Like a uh, bottle of water or just tap water? Just some tap water is fine. Okay, like two ice waters, okay? Yes. Wonderful. Anything else for you, sir? That'll be it. Hello. Yo. Hello. You gonna live? I don't know. Jesus, you got COVID this, and strep? Bro, this strep is. F I'd rather have COVID. <laughs> God. This strep is f awful. My throat looks like an A5 wagyu. Jesus. Man, it's 
God. It's really bad. I can't even think straight. All right. Well, what do you need from us? Obviously, okay. you're going to be out for a couple of weeks now. No, they said this variant is like weak. It's not even that's bothering me. This COVID is not bothering me at all. It's strep? It's strep, dude. It's bad. It's like, I can't. My throat feels like it's literally seared. Hey, let me let me call you right back. Somebody's calling me right here from California. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Call me back. All right, bye. <clears throat> Hello? Good morning. Good morning. Hey. Um, so, I know you're in a rush to get all this, you know, get into a space and, and get in the negotiations on the space as quickly as possible. Yes. I, I know we talked about the uh, Rodea building the other day um, or yesterday, but let's 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 uh, let's quickly get on a call really quickly with uh, you know the uh, Christian Louboutin building. Um, I, I have the the broker. I'm going to add him into this line. I, I want you to explain to him how you expect to do your use and then if you can i want to get on a call with the ownership today to see if that we can get them comfortable with it so wait is this i thought you said that building was already leased no 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 oh the christina herrera building there's two buildings you sent me one of them was the bang and olufsen space where yeah. christian louboutin is and then there the other one was the christina herrera building the christina herrera christina herrera building has been leased Christina Herrera. That's okay. So that's on the back side. That's on Rodeo Drive on the back side of that main strip where everybody goes to visit. Okay. The it's other Rodeo. one. Yeah, everything's yeah. leased there. Okay. That, so that, that's fully leased. All those spaces are fully leased? Yeah. I mean, the broker is my like my business partner. So we do, we do a lot of work together. Okay. So she, she wouldn't make that up. She, you know. Well, I mean, you say all of them. So whenever you sent me that list, there were like. There was like unit 308, unit 360, unit 342. There, there were like four different empty spaces that were that were available right there on that little block on Rodeo Drive. Are you saying all of, none of those are available anymore? That's what she communicated to me. I can send the text to you, but I can give her a call to just reconfirm. No, I don't need more. I don't need proof. I need a space. What I need is I need to know what's available so I can get into something and get something locked in and I need to know whether I'm doing the other thing was I didn't know if like the the Louboutin building that's going to be a much much bigger build out and a much longer process if I do that versus going into one of those spaces on Rodeo that's already built out you know I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out am I going to be doing a big build that's a million two million dollars or am I am I going to be coming in setting up some display cases and ready to go that's where I'm trying to figure out because I so, so with the Chris, um, so with the Louboutin building, that's the one you were telling me that the family that owns it, they live in the building. Correct. Correct. Okay, and they want to understand my idea to see if they're comfortable with it. Correct. Okay. Hey, call me when you get this message. I need to firm up this paddock deal if we're going to get this done before I leave. Hey, what time will you be at your store today? I possibly have the white paddock fifty seven eleven sold. Hey, who's asking about photos for the uh, white 5711? So I have, I may have it sold here locally, and oh, then okay. and then somebody else wants it. Is it? Are they on my Instagram? Yeah, um, but I was just, I just told him to text me. God, the messages disappear so fast. I can. His name is. And then I sent you that guy his WhatsApp. Yeah, I'm gonna mess. I'm gonna message him right now. He texted me and said, "Hey." It's replying about the 5711 why can you send me more pics and if it's complete i told him it's complete let me ask for photos yeah um i may have it sold here locally and then there's another dealer in dallas that says he wants it but I, honestly it's it's whoever gives me a deposit first or pays for it first I, i'm not gonna like hold it for anybody anything like that so uh i i can get more pictures when i go to their store today but I can text you a video of it and a picture here. Okay, yeah, that'll... Here, I just send him send him this and get... If you get a commitment before my guy commits, then I'll, he can take it. But I need a deposit. Okay. Cool. Okay, I'm going to message this guy. He wants to trade an AP. Did he specify which which Platinum Daytona he wants, regular or baguette? Yeah, that's a, that's a Platinum Baguette Daytona. All right, I added him. I'm going to send him a message right now. All right, I'll work on it. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye.
Hey, how are mm -hmm. you, man? Good. Please. All right, shoes. Go ahead. Oh, thanks, man. I didn't realize how, how popular these were until I started until I started wearing them. Now everywhere I go, yeah, people are like, right. "Oh man, I love I, them." I mean, I've been collecting since like oh, have before. You? Yeah. And then those are like the high top versions I had, but then the lows just are killing me. I saw them. I was I was here in LA like I don't know a couple months, a few months ago, uh -huh. and I saw some girl wearing them, and I was like, and she's wearing all black, and that's like what I wear all yeah, day yeah. is all black, and I yeah. took a picture of them and. <laughs> And that I told it's someone to go great. find them for. Yeah, they look great. Perfect. That's okay. That's okay. okay. You should be all set. All right, here we go. Oh, okay, cool. What do you have planned for your day? Work. All right. Well, best of luck. Thank you, sir. What color are you wearing? Um, I think it's. Gavinci. Okay. Oh yeah, that one. The gentleman Gavinci. Yeah, I, have the, I have the dark bottle. That or Creed. Yeah, Creed yeah, is what I normally yeah, yeah. wear, but my Creed bottle is too big to, oh, nice. to fly with. So oh, super good. I take that also. Oh, thank you. Thank you, well, sir. You All right, man. Else, my name is Josh. I appreciate that. Happy holidays. Happy, holidays. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank you. Hey, are you able to do commercial leases in Beverly Hills? So, update on today. Gotten a few deals in the pipeline. Uh, Liz and I just sold a Paddock 5711 white. So, I've got to go, actually right now, I'm headed to pick up a very, very special watch. You guys have heard me talk about the one and a half million dollar Girard Perigo. Well, I may or may not be picking that up today. We'll see here in just a second. Um, after that, I've got to rush over to the dealer I was at yesterday and get pictures of the papers and the paddock itself just to com like confirm that deal with the dealer try to get that done and then i'm going to pick up another very special watch from tom before rushing back to the airport and my phone's continuously ringing so i'm gonna put this down i'm gonna drive safe and i'll still keep you guys updated All right, so I just got here to pick up this first watch and I can't put this deal on camera or the buyer mainly. Um, I can put the watch on there, but I'm not gonna do it yet. I'm actually gonna save it and I'm gonna reveal it on New Year's Eve in Vegas. But let me go in here and do this deal and I'll come back. All right, so I just picked up my new GP and all I can say is, wow, um, this thing is definitely a New Year's Eve celebration watch. Uh, I'm going to wear it uh, in Vegas when I go meet all the boys. So stay tuned for that video. I'm not going to show it on social media or any of the videos until then, and that's going to be my big reveal. But this thing is, and it is in a Rolex, Rolex pouch right now, but it is absolutely awesome. So one of one. You'll never see it anywhere. You've never seen it anywhere. I'm gonna show it on the New Year's Eve video. So stay tuned. Uh, right now, I'm headed over to one of my dealer friend's shops to pick up a Paddock 5711 white that Liz and I sold. Well, I posted a picture of it on Instagram. Liz runs my Instagram account and answers all the messages. So she has been working a deal with the guy and she got the sell. So congratulations on that, Liz. I'm gonna go pick it up now.
full length. I checked everything. It's full length? Okay. Yes, it's full length. If you look up close, 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 Oh, right there? Yeah. That's okay. I sold it as pre-owned, so. And it's going to a dealer. He can... Yeah, he knows what, he knows what to do. No, no, no. It, I mean, dude, for pre-owned, it looks great. All right, cool. Box, actually, I'll tell you what. Can you... Do you have a coffin? I want to carry this separate. I'm going to put that in my bag. I'm going to carry all this separate. Uh, say again? I'm going to wire? Yeah. Uh, have I wired you before? No, you're, you're okay. Possible, but you didn't. Just text me and I'll. And as soon as he wires me, I'll wire you. Yes, for sure. Um, I told Tom that I may have a buyer at 475 on the green dial. Yeah, but the thing is, you talked about it, right? I have one here. Yeah, he told me about the papers, yeah. Yeah, because this one I have it. But the paper's got to be held. I'm supposed to talk to the guy. The, the, the green one I have here is here. That, that one I always sold. Already. Yeah, right. I but you can get another one, right? I'm getting another one, yeah. But he's going to hold the papers. Yeah. So I'm going to tell the guy that and see if he still wants it. Sold. What's up, dude? How much? Sorry, how much mine real quick? Oh, you're good. Yeah, so a Here, I'll wait. I'll wait. Yeah, they gave me a little gift. Oh, yeah? Is that what I think it is? A little party and wake gift. Nice. Yeah. Not too shabby. Not too shabby for retail. And then uh, I'm going to have a Damn, there. I wish they made that in 41. Ooh. Bamford edition. Damn. It's pretty cool. I oh, wish that is pretty. Yeah, for a girl. Hell yeah. Right? You can be on camera, right? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, because I want to tell them about what you're about to give me. But step out of the camera to look at that. Step out of the camera. Yeah, just step out, your, step out in the hall. Oh, okay. You'll know why. All I can't, right. I'm not revealing it to everybody. They oh, know yeah. I have it. Until later, yeah. But I'm not revealing it till New Year's Eve. <laughs> What'd you say, 1.5? One point five. One point five million dollars. Correction. One of one. Yeah. And you drop it, you buy it. It makes this one. Dude, if I <laughs> drop it, I'm like done. <laughs> Damn. Right. Whoa. Dang, it even has diamonds on the sides. And like, oh, it even has it on the bezel. Everywhere, all baguettes too. Yeah. What the heck? Damn. Yeah, I'm, I don't want to hold it yet. anymore. <laughs> I'm yeah. <laughs> Shit, I oughta, dude, you know what? He should, man, I wish I had more time. I'll bring it back. Nice. Have, him sh have your guy shoot it. Yeah, yeah if you can. Pretty perfect. perfect. Right now, because you definitely, this got to go to TVG first. How long does it take to get to the airport from here? Uh, about 45 minutes. 45 should be okay, I think. All right, guys, so for y'all watching there, this is Tom. He owns the Watch Standard. He has been such a badass host every time I'm in town. Make sure that I have a good time. Make sure we eat good. I stay good. I mean, this is the perfect example of competition working together. I mean, it is, that's what it is, we're competition, but he's brought me into the store, showed me a bunch of cool stuff, we're doing deals together, and uh, there's something, I want to show you guys this. So obviously you guys know what just happened, we got robbed, and I recently uh, purchased the orange bezel Seiko Daytona. Um, so that one's gone. Let me see that. Tom happens to have one. And I wanted to put this on video. Not the same one. It's not the same one, obviously. <laughs> but he's, it's like bittersweet, but it's nice. Like, I don't own this. I'm not buying this. I'm going to help him sell it. Uh, so it kind of sucks that mine just got taken. But, because I only had it like six days. So he is going to let me sell this. So I essentially get to have this back in my possession for a little while until it sells or until, until something miraculous happens and I buy it. It was going to happen, man. We're going to get <laughs> it back. We're going to put two of them together. Right. Yeah, absolutely. So anyway, so I wanted to 
introduce you guys to Tom, badass dude uh, out here in LA. But I also wanted to put this on video so you guys know that when you see this pop up on my stories and on my videos and on my website, y'all don't freak out because we know that's what's gonna happen because we've already checked the serial numbers and everything. Do you have a coffin I can put that in? Yeah. I'm gonna have you ship all these back okay. just to make it lighter for me to carry. There you go, sir. God, I love this. Yeah, man. It's I saw that, I was really blown away as Damn. well. Nice. Y'all are gonna get a bit of a teaser because I left the mic going when I walked out there and they were talking about it. Oh, really? Yeah. I knew <laughs> it, I knew that. Leave it out a little bit, I guess. Eh, no, no, I let, let them tease it. They have an idea, nobody s still knows what it is though. Even if I give uh, details, people still don't know what it looks like because be they've never seen it. And you say how many pieces out there? One. There you go. 101, 101. One and a half million retail. There you go. So let's get me to the uh, airport safely because now I have another $2 million on me. You like this authentic Rolex pouch right here? here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I leave these three with you? Yeah, I'll ship it off. Can you ship all that out? I got you. Appreciate it, brother. All right. That's kind of crazy. This is only Boston Homewood? Oh, this is the other that's one. For that, right, that's right, for right. the Bamford edition, okay, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. That I'm going to throw in my safe and just wait for the price to go up and then just give it to some girl or something. Hell yeah. Whoever gets lucky. All right. Let me call in uh, LAX. That's a key for the city. God. Holy shit. Ubers. I'm going to go home and I will see you in a few days, sir. A few days, buddy. Oh, man. Vegas. <laughs> yeah, I'll see this guy in a couple of days. We're going to Vegas for, uh, for New Year's Eve. That's going to be a busy ass day because I'm going to get up, I have to work out, do my normal stuff, then I'm going to the college, or the uh, the Cincinnati Alabama game, yeah. then a f to rush to the airport, get to Vegas, and then who f knows how long we're going to stay up. Well, sleep is all a question, <laughs> so you better get some naps in while you can on the plane. Right. Because well, as soon as you hit here, we're going to put your stuff in the suite, we're, we're, we're doing it. Where are y'all going to be at about 9.30? You go to land at 9.30? Yeah, I land at 9. Yeah, I land at 9, yeah. but okay. what I figured is have just have someone take my luggage to the airport. Yeah, actually, in fact. Because I'm only can, wearing one watch. What you can do is literally, if he's just going to wear whatever you're wearing, literally just, um, I'm going to have a driver pick you up. Okay. And then he's going to be able to put all your stuff. In the room? In the okay, room. cool. Well, know, maybe I'll bring two watches then. Uh, which we call it, the, the room key is going to wait for you right in the front door. Perfect. And let's get it going. See, this is the kind of host. Like, <laughs> I mean, uh, he's like, he slips, Efficiencies all he, he slips the tabs everywhere we go, <laughs> make sure I'm in a good hotel. Like that's who else does that? Who else puts another watch dealer that's coming to your territory soon? Yeah, we got, well, you it's, know, I mean, with the watch that you carry, I'm not putting it on Tropicana. What is <laughs> circuit circuit? Bro, that's, I told you, yeah, I told you, I told you about my, the Tropicana last night. I would literally rent a car and sleep in the back before I stay there. <laughs> yeah, definitely not doing that, buddy. All right, bro. It's been a wonderful trip, hey, man. Always. Nice to see you. Always. All right. I'll see, see you in a couple yeah. days. Yes, sir. See you in a couple days. Uh, do you want me to send you a label for that real quick? Nah, I got it. Dude. All right. You have my address? Oh, yeah. Got it. All right, cool. Oh, all right, shit. Let me grab all this. Yeah, yeah. All right. I got to get to the airport, guys.
All right, guys, I finally made it home. Um, it's been a long day, a good day nonetheless. Got some badass watches. Uh, one, obviously, I've been talking about. I'm excited to show you guys on New Year's Eve. Uh, it's been a good day. I'm back home for, let's see, what is it, Wednesday night? Nah, I'm back home for at least, you know, 30, 35 hours or so. Fly back out Friday afternoon uh, to go to Vegas to celebrate New Year's. But uh, I'll like, at least get a couple nights at home in my bed again. Um, so I'm going to end the day off, but I want to end this off with... I guess, I don't know, some words of advice or wisdom or something like that. So I posted my new video today and I was reading through the comments and for whatever reason, there was an absorbently large amount of hate in the comments. Now, uh, it's, it's from the same like 10 accounts that always comment on my videos consistently, you know, being my cheerleaders down in the comments section, getting my post up into the hundreds. So I appreciate you guys. Um, and I've been doing this long enough where I've been getting I've been getting hate long enough I've learned to block it out and it doesn't phase me but I guess my advice would be for someone new starting a business uh, trying something new on social media putting yourself out there and getting hate back it's very easy to let that influence your decision I remember early in my days actually on the TPG channel when things started going south was because we started listening to people in the comments and we stopped doing the things that I felt were best for the channel. We started doing what the comments told us we should do or we stopped doing the things the comments told us we should stop doing. And later later in the year, the channel kind of did this wishy-washy thing and it, it wasn't us being an authentic self. So I guess my advice for anyone out there starting something, getting something, whatever you're doing, that's getting any type of backlash or hate just keep going keep pushing forward through it somehow if you can transform that or if you can in your mind transition that hate into fuel or energy which is what I do I love when people tell me I can't do something because not only do I do it I do it bigger and better than I would have had they just simply supported me if you can get yourself to to transform that hate into fuel you'll you'll kill it and here's the thing Nobody has ever hated on someone that's doing better than them. The guys that are in my comments hating on me, they're not out there running multiple businesses. They're not CEOs of Fortune 500 companies. They're not uh, professional athletes or celebrities or, you know, they're not anyone doing anything better than me. I can 100% guarantee you that. So do not ever listen to hate coming from someone that's not doing better from you. And I can promise you this, if you're if you're getting something that sounds like hate and it's coming from someone that is doing better than you, it's not hate, it's criticism. It's advice, there's a difference. Be willing to take criticism. I'm willing to take criticism. I read comments all the time that sound more like direct criticism than hate and I listen to it. And if it sounds like someone's actually giving me a piece of advice that I should take note of, I take note of it and I assess it to whether that is in fact something I should look into for myself, my channel, my business, what, whatever. If it's just hate, shit, thanks for bumping my post, heart it, you know, I'll see you next week and get and see him next week. Keep doing you, stay true to yourself. Uh, ignore that shit because all it can do is, is it will it will sway you you hear the same thing over and over and over and over and again you start thinking something's wrong with you no the same shit that's coming out of the same person's mouth it just shows me there's something wrong with them I have the same cheerleaders in my section every week every video they're commenting on every positive post how much real estate do I own of these guys I own them you say I they, they say I'm not winning I have one. I've taken their time away from them and I've given it to me. They're bumping my post. They're keeping my videos bumping in the algorithm. My Instagram post, they've got them going all crazy and stuff. I'm about to hit 20,000 subscribers. Thank you, cheerleaders. But anyway, guys, to my loyal fans, to my real friends, my real fans out there, the, all of you that are getting inspiration from me living my life, I y'all inspire me just like you say I inspire you. So keep on uh, commenting on there. Keep on engaging. Keep on telling me what you guys want to see and I'll put it in there. I'll make it happen. Uh, we're about 60 days into the year and still just getting started. I've got a lot of stuff happening in 2022 that I can't wait to, for you guys to be a part of and I hope you stay a part of it. Um, that's all I've got for today, guys. 
Uh, I'll see you. You know the drill. Like the post. Share it on social media. Share a, share a screenshot of this with a link on Instagram. Uh, let's drive some people to the page. We're at 20,000 subscribers in two months. That's pretty intense. If we keep, if we keep up the momentum, we can get this channel to 100,000 subscribers by summer, and that would be pretty cool. So guys, I love y'all, and I'll see you tomorrow.